How are we all doing out there? I hope you're all spot on. Thanks for watching the video. Now I've been shopping, I've been to Home Bargains. Come and have a look what I got. I'm going to walk around Home Bargains as you do and I came across this. Salt and chilli chicken drumsticks. 100% British chicken. Quick cook. Six minutes. One kg. There is the serving suggestion. These were one pound and ninety nine pence. I was expecting them to be a bit dearer than that. I thought it was quite cheap. Cheap chicken. Let's have a look at the packaging. So I've had a quick look at the front and I didn't mention it. it's a medium chilli rating with a two. Um, salt and chilli marinated chicken drumsticks. 1 kg, 1.99, 1.99. Look, we've got a bit of coleslaw there, look. Um, so let's go round the back. Uh, there is some nutritional information per 100 grams. If you want to pause that and have a look at that, by all means, go ahead. Um, little GB sticker there. Best before date, 10th of October 2024. Um, ingredients. Chicken drumsticks, 95%. Chicken, 98%. Allergens, C ingredients in uppercase and bold. Um, I can't see any there. Allergens, really. Um, warning, product will contain bones and may contain bone shards. Mm. We will be on lookout. Cooking instructions. Little bit of spiel at the top. Fully cooked chicken drumsticks with added water in a salt, pepper and chilli marinade. Cooking instructions. You can microwave them, look. You can nuke them for six minutes. Uh, stand for one minute in the microwave. That is based on a 900 watt. Um, or you can do them in the oven. 30 to 35 minutes. Cook from frozen. Ah, well, that's um, produced and packed in the UK using meat from the UK. Welsh, by the look of that. Carnarvon, is it? Carnarvon? Ah, right, let's get these open and see what we have got. So have we got a tab system. Now, I do notice you can microwave them for six minutes. For a 900 watt, so mine's an 800 watt, so I'll do it a little bit longer. And it says, after you've microwaved them, you can place them under the grill if you want to crisp the skin up for three and four minutes. Um, but let's see if we can get in them without using scissors. No. Need some scissors. Put some scissors on the situation. So... There, there it is. There is your chicken. Your frozen chicken. Mm -hmm. There it is. Yeah. So I'm going to do mine in the oven. I know you can do them in the microwave, but I want, I want to do mine in the oven. Um, so I'm going to do that one. Am I hungry? Oh, I am hungry, yeah. There's your chicken. One ninety nine, one ninety nine. So it's like, well, one ninety nine. Um, I'm gonna have four. That's a big one, look. So you're gonna do them in on a tray like that, and then it says put some foil over them, cover them in foil. So that's what I'm gonna do, and then they go in the oven, just like that. Right, better go and cut the grass. Um, I took the foil off uh, my chicken um, for the last 20 minutes. Um, I just I want to get it, um, you know, um, what's the word, on top, crispy. Um, I'll stick the old temperature probe in and uh, we will see if it's up to um, the right temperature, of course. Um, 
and if you uh, if you like the video give it a thumbs up and uh, maybe consider subscribing to the channel um, and uh, we'll see what this is like salt and pepper chicken I mean <laughs> you could put buy some chicken drumsticks couldn't you and put your own salt and pepper on them but uh, I suppose this is like lazy um, lazy person's chicken just stick it in the oven and then it's done so I'll bring you back uh, in about another 17 minutes for the uh, temperature probing uh, so hopefully they're done I mean they're already cooked aren't they you're just warming them up and uh, this was a lovely gift as well I think Jenny Graham got me that if I remember rightly, I've had it for some time, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to, can you see, okay, I'm going to give them a probing. Uh, I'm not touching the bone, um, so that is, that's good enough for me. I'll just give another one a, a bit of a probe. Just in a fatty bit of the, the chicken, yeah, 85, 86. Yeah, that's good enough for me. Get them on here. And I've had this on me, me cooker in it. It's, not, it's nice and warm. It's really hot. It's a good old... Um, comes in quite handy. Warm the, uh, the plates up. So they're not exactly the same colour as on the box. Eh? I don't know. That salt and chilli. I mean, chilli's red, but that's more like a sort of a sticky sort of a... Um, a marinade isn't it as in reality the, it's there's no sticky stickiness about them that's what you get there it is it's zooming in zooming out let's get straight into this and see what this is all about hmm <sighs> Very nice, very nice uh, seasoning on there, very nice indeed. It is a little bit hot, I should have waited a little bit shouldn't I? Mmm, mm, I like that. God that was hot. And I don't mean the chilli heat, heat neither. I mean, it was it just hot because it's just out the oven. I do like the skin as well. I like, maybe for me, they could have done with a little bit longer. Because I do like, I don't like the skin gelatinous. Oh, it's hot, that is hot. I like it crispy. I do like crispy chicken skin. Um, it's seasoned okay. You don't need no more seasoning on there, that's for sure. It's nice and succulent, the chicken. Um... Mmm. Mmm, that is good. I'm liking that, I really am. Right. Mmm. Yeah, that's my own fault really. I should have, should have done them a little bit longer. I mean, if you're going to do them in the microwave and you want them crispy, I suppose you microwave them and then you stick them under the grill, don't you? For that skin to go all nice and crispy. I mean, these are the good. The two chilli rating, mm, there's no like heat, heat coming away now. It's probably all cooked off in the oven. But um, the seasoned okay, the, the salty enough. Mmm. They definitely want they definitely make you want another bite. And that's what that's that's as all that matters to me. 199. Yeah. Mmm. <clears throat> I'm gonna get into the other four now with my tea. So thank you very much for watching. I will watch out there's no shards in there. <laughs> And obviously there's bone. I know you, 
you pay one ninety nine for a load of bones, really, and, and a bit of you know chicken on there. But the tasty, and it's British chicken as well, which is good, isn't it? For one ninety nine. You know, I mean, and you can microwave them as well. It's already cooked, so it's ideal if you're working, you know, I've worked in places where we've just had a microwave and we've only had half an hour for our dinner or, or you get a brew, 10 minutes for a brew, and you're a bit peckish, you could stick these in the microwave providing you get in the brew room early and there's enough microwaves for everyone. I always used to get in dead early, me. I was a bit of a naughty boy like that, but, you know, I think that's just... It's just life, isn't it? You've got to get in, try to get in early and get the microwave early. Then you, you have more time to sit down and, and eat it. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. Um, uh, tech care. Would I buy them again? Yes, I would buy them again. They're probably uh, what? They're good. They're tasty. Yeah, probably a nine out of ten. Very good. You can always pimp them up yourself, can't you, really, if you want as well, you know, you know, always add stuff to them or take it, you know, it's not take it away, but we've all got spices at home. Anyway, I'm going off on one here. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it, all the best, take care and I will catch you on the next one.